All right, we're going to go over some of the basics with logo um, manipulation in Photoshop. I'm working with Adobe Photoshop CS6. I brought this file in. It's a former client of mine, really good friends. And uh, it is a flat background PSD. And what I usually like to do is just double click automatically on the background and make it a layer. What I do is um, you can uh, uh, change some different things here, but for right now it's going to be normal and the color is going to be none. I'm gonna go, okay. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer. And anytime you make a new layer, it's going to bring it on top of the one that you were at. So we're going to, I'm going to bring it down so it'll be behind it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the white out of this. Now you have many different options over here. So your selector tool, your our marquee tool, you have a rectangle. If you click and hold down, rectangle elliptical is going to go. And uh, this is your uh, lasso tool. And uh, we'll get into some of that later. And then this is also your uh, magic wand, which is what we'll be using for this tutorial. We click on the white and you just, oh, no, wait, see, that's a good, I'm glad I did that. If you're in layer one, it's nothing, there's nothing in there. So if you click, you're selecting basically everything and nothing all at the same time because there's nothing there. So make sure you're on layer one or layer zero. So it's always important because um, when you work with, five or six different layers at a time you need to know which one you're doing so click on all the white and I'll just hit delete now we need to go in here and select all of these and the R's and the O's and the A and then there we go now this I'm going to show you guys I'm going to go ahead and uh, reverse this color this is how you reverse the color foreground and background I'm going to reverse it so the foreground becomes black this is your paint bucket tool. Also, there's a gradient tool and a 3D material drop tool. Gradient, we'll go over here in a little bit. Paint bucket tool is what we want. <clears throat> I'm going to select layer zero and throw it in there. Now, uh, I like this or gray uh, when I'm editing video uh, because this will really show you how this um, um, logo is going to stand out and or look horrible as I think it does right now. So uh, I'm going to go back to layer zero. I always like to default to the selector tool so I don't accidentally click or anything. Layer tool and I'm going to go to layer and um, layer style and you can do a lot of different options here but what I'm going to do the first part is stroke and what that is, is the outer uh, rim of the logo and or object that you have. I'll change this to just white. Another thing here, if uh, you're dealing with um, print, they usually use, the, uh, uh, use these numbers in their percentages. It's like hue, saturation, uh, black, red, green, blue, and FFFFF is solid white. It's like zero, 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 zero is completely black. F, 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 oh, and F, oh, back to, there we go. It's completely white. That's what we want. So there we go. Now you can do size and make it thicker. Uh, I like it at about five or uh, maybe even four. Both good. And you can turn the opacity down if you like, but we're just going to go with the full for right now. Another thing you want to do is do a drop shadow, uh, but at this point in time, you may not want to do it in Photoshop if you're using this for video, um, uh, because it may not key out as well as you would like. But that looks pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Okay. Now layer, uh, once you see how this is going to look and you like it, just click and uh, you can delete it and it will be transparent. File, save as, and you can go to Photoshop or a PNG. There's a lot of good, uh, uh, yeah, replace it. Uh, PNG is also good for video as well. So that's just a basic how to get rid of a background in a logo that a client sends you. 
um, if you go up to the image, if they send you an EPS or something, which I know that a lot of clients usually do, because if they have a print, uh, then they, uh, or a print company or a marketing company, they usually work in EPSs, which is good. You can go to mode and it'll say CMYK instead of RGB. We want RGB because that's TV. And then adjustments, if you need to do anything for brightness, levels, curves, you can really manipulate a lot of different things. Image size, canvas size. Uh, if In between these, um, if it is cut, I'm going to go and show you this really quick. Here's your crop tool. If your, don't snap to it. If your logo comes to you like this, uh, it's not going to key out as well on TV because it's touching some edges. So uh, one thing that you want to do is crop. And this is just for example, image, canvas size, and then uh, just make it a little bit bigger, green and one point. And then there you go. See, that'll give the editor a little bit more room to, to work with. So that will be good. That's all we're going to do for this tutorial. Hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, hope you use it.